Yo, this is Jarwa89 here, and we are back at another Minecraft Let's Play. Um. Um. Sorry I haven't uploaded video for a while. I've been very busy of late. Um, but I have been able to get on a few sporadic time periods, and I've gotten some stuff done. So, let's check out what we have. Um, I opened up a little area here for us to walk into. Um, with columns and these lights turn on at night just like all the rest of these I added pillars here with on the entryway and I turned the color to this lighter cyan wool um, and I added hanging lights um, fountains um, Um, I made the lights in the ceiling permanent, so they would stay on, because we need a little bit of light here. Um, I'm working on what to put in this room here. I'm hoping, like, a little kitchen area just for, like, the family. <laughs> like, I'll still have the other big kitchen area that I was talking about. Um, not kitchen, like, dining room. I added a little sort of, like, meeting room, you know, like, when you come in and it's like have a seat while you go and like get something ready or something I have um, coat racks here with little item frames here with um, uh, the um, chest plates well they're really tunics um, leather tunics there um, okay so I've been working on all the redstone and stuff down here. Here, let's get night vision potion. If we get a night vision potion, we'll be able to see down here. Um, these lights turn on. I have um, um, repeaters here set for delays so that the delay because there's a delay as the redstone signal s travels down here so i have a delay set that's larger up here and then the delay gets smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller all the way down here so that, that way all the lights turn on at the same time because once the signal hits here then it's waiting and then once the signal gets all the way down here then it lets the signal go through there and then all the lights light up at all at the same time so if we turn it to time night oops see they all turn on at like the same time except for these ones which are set on a separate timer which all goes with these lights so these ones turn on all at the same time and those ones turn on at the same time mm, let's get us some moo juice some milk get rid of the potion effect um, I had an episode where I worked on this room here but the sound levels were off for some reason so I didn't upload that one because you like couldn't hear me at all so that's what's up with that um, that's one of the reasons why I mean I still won't have been a while since I won't have uploaded a video but a video that I wanted to upload did not get uploaded because of the sound levels so I am very sorry about that I did a test beforehand to make sure that the sound levels were right and they were and then um, and then it still didn't work after that so um, and then I did another video where I'm basically doing exactly the same thing that I did in this video except this time I'm, I'm advancing different things but I talked about all the stuff that I did and that one the sound levels was still off so yeah um 
I'm using um, the fact that signals can travel through blocks because it goes through this one and then out that one because the signal hits this and then goes through there. If you didn't know, you could do that. Um, in a second here, I'm going to show you the redstone for my piston doors because um, I found a way to make a very compact piston door that always stays on and you can open it from both sides with pressure plates so I want to show you guys that I just need to fix these lights real quick um, I also want to upload a few more videos but um, Fraps has been crashing, so I tried all these different troubleshoots, and finally I looked up on the forums, Minecraft forums, because I just looked up on the Fraps forums, and that uh, did not help me. And so apparently the way that it worked was, um, this guy was like, well, um, Fraps and Minecraft hate each other if they're on the same core in the CPU. And so he was saying that people with one core CPUs, it just really did not work. Well, I have a four core CPU. So what I ended up doing was I set manually in task manager for Fraps to work on a different core and Minecraft to work on a set core also. So that way they're both working on different cores and they're not on the same core because when they're on the same core, it crashes. So that's fixed. Um, okay, here's how this works. Um, the redstone signals this loop which goes to both sides and then there's this torch here which signals up here which signals these two um, pistons which closes the door well when I step on here there's a signal sent to that block which turns off the torch and the signal is no longer going to these pistons and voila it opens now um, some people were like, well, you were talking about how these didn't light up at the same time, so why don't you just put redstone underneath? Well, I do have redstone underneath here, so, so, sorry about that voice crack there. Um, so, that does not work. I mean, I could make this less compact and make those light up, but I'm okay with it. Because it doesn't seem like a big deal here, since I really don't have anything here, but... Over here, where I had the same setup, I had to stick in windows, and then I also had to stick in some redstone running up through here with, um, the, um, light detector, which set up how, when these lights turned on. So, like, I had these walls three thick, so I can put color on one side, color for the other wall, and then redstone running through the middle. Well, let's take a look inside here. Really, most of it's down here. Um, let's go down to where this redstone... Okay, so, underneath this, the leaves, leaves are a transparent box, so the light detector still works. Um, it sends a signal over here to this, which, in turn turns this torch off which turns the torch above it off which turns the torch above it off on off on off on until finally it gets all the way up here and it is on this one is on and it turns these lights on okay so got that done and then i have more redstone running over here down there that way which leads all the way over here which leads into this which leads all the way through here and hits this block which is always on but then when it's day then there's a signal sent and turns this off and all the lights are turned off okay that's how that works so now you know how my redstone works there I know I didn't go over very quickly and that might have seemed a bit confusing but I just wanted you to know how that works, so I just went over a quick overview. If you understand redstone quite a bit, then hopefully you understood that. Um, okay, next. 
Um, I would like to know whether or not I should keep these lights here. I don't know if I like them or not. Um, if I like the look of them just hanging down there. So let me know in the comments below if I should keep those. Let me just... There's with them. And then... I guess I'll do it without them. And then there's without them. Okay. Next order of business. We need to figure out what to do with that room. Over there. Because I like the idea of that little kitchen area. Or an eating area. But... Um, having some problems with well I want these two rooms here to be symmetrical as in lights and things but um, okay so see how this sort of outside lights area that always stay on okay well if we go over here I don't have any room to put that so I have no idea what to do um, let me know any ideas in the comments below if we don't get anything worked out here. Um, and then also this room just seems sort of blank, like, blah, just table in the middle of the room, and that's it. Nothing else. Um, I could add a refrigerator. Over here. But I just feel like it still looks really bland. Okay, there we go. We got a refrigerator. Um, I mean, we could get a stove, but I feel like we're going to have like a kitchen area over there. Back. So my plan over here is I'm going to have a kitchen area and then a big dining room area here. And then there's going to be an outside patio where you can eat. And then on this side... I don't know what I'll put there, but out here, I'll have, like, um, an area where you can go into the pool, which will be out there, and then there'll be, like, a closed-in spa with glass, like, glass doors, bit like, a big glass room, um, with laser minute glass, and then I'll have pistons that can open and close those glass doors, so, like, if it's summer and it's nice out and you want those open, then you can open them up and run out to the pool and run back, and if it's winter, then you can still be in your spa, and still be able to look outside so that's that um so as I was saying there would be a kitchen over here well um I don't know if I should stick a little kitchen thing over here um it would also be cool to stick a TV here but I have a window here so like diagonal TVs look really like anything that's diagonal in Minecraft just does not look good so yeah um i think this video is about done i don't want to make it too long so let me know what to do about the lights over here and the lights not the lights what to do about well it does have to do with the lights about the symmetricality above over there but what to do about over here um so let me know